Okay. Uh, in this question, uh, we are given that three men and four women line up at a checkout counter in a store. And we have three sub-questions. Uh, in how many ways can they line up? And uh, B, in how many ways can they line up if there is a condition? The first person in line is a woman, and then the line alternates by gender, meaning that a woman, a man, a woman, a man, and so on. And the last one is find the probability uh, that uh, the first person in line is a woman and the line alternates by gender, just like in B. But in B you are uh, counting, in C you are finding the probability. So, in fact, those three questions are related, like C will relate to you A and B. So, uh, let's first answer this one. In how many ways can they line up? Uh, we, uh, in this case, we will use the fundamental counting uh, rule, which says that uh, if you have uh, K, uh, how many possibilities? Okay, so let's do it this way. Uh, you have seven people in total, so uh, you know you have three men and four women. So in total, there are seven: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then uh, you can ask yourself how many possibilities are there for the first uh, place. Uh, seven people can stand here. Uh, this is because it's uh, not giving you any conditions. Uh, it's not telling you a woman should be first or a man should be first. So seven people can stand here. In this one, uh, we, have, we are left with six people, and then five, and so on. Four, three, two, and one. And now the fundamental counting rule says that uh, when, you ha when you find out the, pr the possibilities, then you multiply to get the total number of possibilities. So we need to multiply these numbers together. 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and this will give us 7 factorial. Uh, and 7 factorial is uh, 5040. You can do this on your calculator. Uh, even if you don't know the symbol for the factorial, uh, on your calculator you can multiply 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 but it's just easier to know that there is a symbol for it. You just put the factorial notation and you read this as 7 factorial. And it's uh, equal to any number factorial, like for example 100 factorial is 100 times 99 times 98 times 97 and you keep on multiplying until you get down to 1. Okay, uh, so there are 5,040 uh, ways for uh, solving part A. Now, let's look at part B. In part B, they are giving us um, a condition. Uh, we have the seven people, uh, again, of course, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, but they are insisting on something. Uh, uh, if you excuse me, I'm going to erase uh, this and just uh, do it here. For B, we are going to solve it here. Because C, you will see, will be very easy to solve. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They are insisting that uh, the first person in line is a woman. So this here should be a woman. Then the line alternates by, by gender. So it has to be a man next, then a woman, then a man, then a woman, then a man, and finally a woman. So you ask yourself, uh, for the first one here, how many possibilities do we have? How many women do we have? You are given four women. So there are four possibilities here. Uh, and for the second one, how many men do we have? We have three men. Now, uh, if you go to the third place, it should be a woman. 
but remember you already chose a woman here so you reduce the number of women to three so you have three women to 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 take from and uh, similarly since you choose one man here from the three men you have two men left to take from and then for women uh, you have two left after the three and then you have one man and then finally one woman for the last uh, one and the fundamental counting rule says that you multiply the possibilities so we will multiply four times three times three times two times two times two times one times one and if you do it on your calculator you will get uh, 144 possibilities Okay, so this is the answer to B. And uh, finally, uh, C uh, is the easiest one of them, and you will see why. Because in C, uh, we need to find just the probability of, uh, uh, of what happened. Uh, find the probability that the first person in line is a woman and the line alternates by gender. So this probability will be equal to uh, the total, uh, of course, uh, the number of possibilities, which possibilities? Uh, the ones that we did in B, because in B we did the alternation, woman, man, woman, man, uh, divided by probability, you always divide by the total number, this will be the, to the total number of possibilities of them standing uh, standing in line without uh, needing to have a man or a woman so it will be the answer to A so this one will be the one in A because this would give us the total uh, possibilities for lining them up so this will be a hundred and forty four the answer in B divided by the total number that was 5040 and this if you compute it approximately it will be uh, 0 0.029 which is like 2.9 percent this would be the probability that uh, once they line up you know that you have seven people uh, three men and four women yes uh, the probability that when they line up uh, a woman will be first then a man next then a woman then a man like this is just uh, almost three percent yeah 2.9 percent that this situation will happen that's why uh, you don't see this situation when you go to the supermarket uh, almost never because uh, the probability that it happens uh, with seven people is already too small 2.9 percent uh, imagine if it's more people so um, you can actually uh, think of similar questions to this and solve it like change the number of men change the number of women and put your own rules and try to solve uh, the probability of having this specific arrangement of people in line and this answers this question